Regional 5's John Kosick. He's been covering this push since the beginning. He joins us live tonight with what's on tap for the delegation. Yeah, Chris and Danita, tomorrow the attention will shift to the queue, the main site of the convention itself. The places that they are visiting are logistical, historical, and tonight theatrical. As the city gets to show a fresh set of eyes, what makes this the best location in the nation. Members of the RNC Site Selection Committee arrive tonight in Playhouse Square. It is the first stop in a 48-hour visit that will see them tour all the sites Cleveland will use to host the 2016 Republican National Convention. Playhouse Square being both historical and functional. They can hold 10 simultaneous events within one theater complex. Tomorrow, the real work begins. A look at the queue, which would be the main site for the convention. Not just the floor, but all the spaces they could utilize, like this rarely seen area under the grassy Gateway Plaza. It's a 55,000 square foot room that could be used to house some of the 15,000 media. That's also where the new Cleveland Convention Center will come into play, something that wasn't even on the drawing board when the city last bid in 2006, nor were the hotels that are popping up downtown, holes that cost the city that 2008 convention, but the hope is we'll put them over the top this time. Ohio hasn't hosted a convention since the Republicans were in Cleveland in 1936. State GOP leaders say... It's time. I was the epicenter of the political universe every four years. We haven't had a political convention here since the 1930s. There's no excuse for that anymore. We've got to bring one here to the Buckeye State. And it is at this stage where the political potential of coming here begins to carry more weight. We need to connect with voters again on a much, much different level. If we could do for the country what we've done for Ohio, uh, that's the kind of message that can help us, you know, springboard to the White House and maybe turn this country around. And we can deliver that message right here in Cleveland. And as we come out live, Cleveland's Terminal Tower saluting the RNC tonight, bedeckled in, is that a word even? I don't even know. Red, white, and blue. The colors are this evening. Much of what the RNC is doing is behind closed doors, away from the media, but we're going to have the opportunity tomorrow to talk with Reince Priebus, the head of the RNC. After here, they will move off to Kansas City and then Denver and Dallas next week. Reporting live in downtown Cleveland, John Kosick, News Channel 5. All right, bedeckled, we like it. John, we're definitely putting our <laughs> best foot forward now. We'll go for it. Thanks, John. <laughs>